is forming what we call a receptor, receptor portion, receptor central portion, receptor portion, like that. So that is the muscle spindle. I said this is a tendon and these are the intrapsial fibers. Yeah, so that is basically the structure of the muscle spindle, and to add all the nerves, we shall be majorly talking about the physiology, how it works, and I'm going to do it right now. You just follow. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, you subscribe to my channel. It's called the Science Theater. I'm called David, we have several teachers within the Science Theatre and you subscribe. Yeah, you click the bell, you click the subscribe portion. The buttons, you click everything. You get more videos, they are good, you learn new science, you enjoy the science and it is up to date. Okay, let's continue. Okay, to add on. These are extracellular fibers. The striated fall upon the contractile portion of the muscle spindle. Of the muscle spindle, but it has the receptor portion which does not contract. Then these ones are generating the force for muscle. They generate the movement force. That was the force for movement. So they are called the force generating. Fibers, the extrapsal. Yeah, so the receptor portion is the intrapsal fibers, which we call the muscle, the muscle spindle, in terms of receiving information about changes in the muscle. Nuclear bag fibers mainly have many nuclei congregated in the expanded central portion. And if I'm to talk about the nuclear. Nuclear fibers Nuclear fibers here The nuclear bag If I try to compare it with the nuclear chain You can see this the nuclei are arranged in a bag which is expanded at the center of the of the chain of the fibers and we have a chain, just chain of nuclei So the names are the first difference Two, if we talk about the size, are they large, are they long? The nuclear bag is 7 meter, 30 micrometer in diameter and 2 to 5 fibers. So this one is 2 to 5 fibers. Yes, the diameter of each diameter will be like 30 micrometers and the length will be 7 micro. Micrometer. Yeah, these are two to five fibers which form the bag. Then the nuclear chain will be having like uh, six to ten fibers. Yes, each one being four meters, four millimeters long, and its diameter will be fifteen micrometers. In, dia in diameter. Okay. Yeah. So that is basically how you can compare the nuclear bag and nuclear chain. Now I want to, to go to the nerves which supply the, the muscle spindle. And that will be the last part of this discussion. Okay, we want to talk about the uh, uh, want to talk about the nerves. Yes, let me try to wrap up here, and we shall see the nerves supplying supplying this. Yeah, I will use green to show the nerves or blue. Let me use blue. Yes, we can have gamma stuck fibers. Supplying both nuclear bag and nuclear chain. 
that if I have this coming there and this one also coming to this bag and chain, they form the gamma, they are motor fibers. But these ones will be static. Yes? Then we can have gamma which is dynamic. Okay? This one which goes to the nuclear bag is the dynamic. Sorry. This one is gamma dynamic. Gamma dynamic. Whereas that one which goes to the nuclear chain is the gamma static. And this will be important in reflexes. You see that the static is from the static reflexes will be from the nuclear chain and the gamma dynamic will be from the nuclear bag fiber. Yes. Another set of now fibers is called uh, the group 1A fibers. These are sensory and they form annulospiral endings. They supply both nuclear bag and nuclear chain. So I can say they have the annulospiral formation like that around the bag and like that around the chain. These are sensory and I've called them the group 1A fiber. Like all the primary fibers. And we have the secondary fibers which will only be supplying the nuclear chain. So they are secondary, they are just adding to the sensory innovation provided by the group 1A. So these ones are, are called group 2 fibers or secondary fibers. They are also sensory in action. Now, we shall always concentrate at uh, how they appear when they are exactly innovating the spindle. Like the appearance of the nerve endings, how do they appear? We say the group 1A fibers form annual spiral, they are having annual spiral formation. Yes? But the, the, the motor fibers or dynamic fibers uh, recall the, motor, the muscle spindle is not supplied by alpha motor neurons. It's only supplied by dynamic fibers. That's why you don't see alpha motor neuron here. The alpha motor neuron fibers will be going to the extracellular fibers to generate a force of contraction. This is just maintaining contraction. So, uh, summarize, let's talk about the appearance of nerve endings. Nuclear bag, this is alpha dynamic motor has plate endings. So this one appears as a plate, like that. You get it? It's just a plate. Uh -huh. And that is the alpha, I mean gamma dynamic. Yes. Then the gamma static fibers, they have a trail ending. Like, it's like this, a trail. It's just a trail like that. Yeah? This is gamma static. Yes? And uh, group 2 fibers have a flower spray ending. So group 2, uh, it will be just like this. It comes, it is here. It is just like that, a flower spray. Like a flower. If it is from up, it will be like this. And that is the group 2 fibers. Then the group 1A, we said it is just annular spiral around that. And that is group 1A fibers. Yeah, that is the appearance of muscle spindle. What they do, we shall get them in the next video just subscribe to Sun Theater thanks for following goodbye